Okay, so we're going to talk about multi sub materials, which are handy if um, you want to apply different materials to one object. So, for example, if we want, we have this sofa, we can make it blue, obviously. But if we say we wanted each of the pillows to be different colours. Now, to do that, rather than detaching the objects, which you can do in an editable poly, you can just select detach and then add your material to the detached object. This is fine, but sometimes you don't want to do that, you don't want to break up the model. So if we go back, all one object again, um, you can actually make a material with multiple textures on it. So if you click on V-Ray Material and go to multi sub object under standard, you can keep the old sub material. So what this does, you've got multiple materials in here. So let's just quickly put some colours in to give you an example. So we we'll set the number to three, and we can apply the multi sub material. So you can put your own textures in. So let's put some bitmaps. Um, let's choose a few. Okay, so these are our three different different textures that we want to apply. So now we want to do an editable poly. You can select the faces that you want to change. So you can select them individually, and then in this material IDs, you can change change the number. So by pressing F2, you'll be able to see through this selected face, which is pretty handy. And you can change the ID. Oh, let's uh, show these textures in the viewport. So, by changing the ID numbers, they all correspond to the numbers in the material editor. So, number two will give us this one, one, and three. So, if we select the whole object using the element select, change this one to number two. And let's change the one over here to number three. You see that now we have a different texture on each of the cushions, and everything's still one object. So that's how to use multi sub material.